Yes, my first chowder. I'm out of uh, Agra station. So behind me, that's Agra station. So trying to get uh, transport out to my hostel, which is five kilometers away. Okay? Okay. Thank you. You know where, right? Do you know where? You know where, right? Jahagya. Thank you. Is it the taxi? The tuk tuk? Alright, that's my tuk tuk. Hello. I've got a reservation? Yeah. Yeah. Jahagi Lodge. Okay. How do you pronounce this? Jahagi. Jahagi Lodge. Okay, Jahagi Lodge. Yeah. Thank you. Where are you from? Singapore. Singapore. Wow, this is a super super lock. <laughs> yeah, it's a strong one. Very strong lock. Yeah, this one and this one both are strong. This is more stronger than this one. Oh, okay. Thank you. So this is a simple room tour. Yeah, so this is just my room. I think he has just given me a diffuser. Yeah. I mean, because I see some mosquitoes in there. <laughs> anyway. And then there's the toilet here. Yeah, so it's a sitting style. I mean squatting style. Yeah. So for 400, I think that's pretty good deal. So after putting down my bags, now I'm walking around this place. Right. So according to the owner of the hostel, he told me that the Taj Mahal is just three minutes walk away from here. Oh well, let's, I will know it tomorrow or probably later. So the restaurant is recommended by the owner. Yeah, it's got a very touristy vibe here. More like a small town vibe. Yeah. I've not seen tourists yet. Although, what I've spoken to the owner is that there will be a lot of tourists during daytime. So they will go back to where they are staying outside of Agra. So not many people will choose to stay in Agra. Yeah, it retains a lot of this very small town charm. One thing I don't find it here is the Oh, the bazaar, <laughs> yeah. I mean, frankly, I'm a little bit scared of the bazaar at the moment. Nah, I'm okay. Later. Yeah. Yeah. Later, later. Ah, lucky restaurant. Lucky guest house. Yeah, I saw this on uh, some of the vloggers whom they stay there. Apparently, this one has got a good view overlooking Taj Mahal. 
Okay, I'm trying to do a recce first. So this way is leading to Taj Mahal. So that tomorrow, I think when I come out early morning, I yeah, I will not be so lost. <laughs> yeah, so. This is the Taj Mahal basket. So what, I will, what I'm going to do tomorrow is that I will come over here and uh, queue up. Yeah, so that's the way to go into Taj Mahal. So obviously now it's already closed. So this is the West Gate. I think you could barely see anything. Although there's a Mongol Dome over here. So time for dinner. A beer shop? I'm surprised to see beer here. Right, that's the small lane. Which I'm not going in now. Yeah. There's a lot of shops here, restaurants here. And frankly, it's a place I don't mind staying for one more night. Yeah. I, I kind of like the vibes. Yeah. I believe this is the east gate. Yeah. So there are different gates into Taj Mahal. So the gate closest to where I'm staying is the west gate. I don't think I can walk in further yeah. so I better make a U-turn Let me try looking at Johnny's place. Hello. Hello. Uh. So they even have menu in Chinese. <laughs> yes. Uh, just looking at the English one. English one. English yeah. one. So he's cooking my chow mein. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Right. So I don't want to be inconvenience them because it's a small kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> so let me just go around. Oh, okay. Now they are making the food. Anyhow. Shenjiao ma, bo shi ting wan. So this is the place. 
Johnny's place. Johnny's place, the place is Johnny's. Yep. It's a pretty small setup. Hopefully, eh, the stuff is good. And how? Are you sure? 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 And how? Very good. Very good Chinese. Ah, I was in Delhi. Oh, I was in Delhi. 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 So this is my fried noodle or they call it chow mian. It's the same pronunciation in uh, as Chinese. And the mango last last year. Yeah. So this chow mian is so called made fresh. I've kind of witnessed it. And according to him this has got no eyes so i hope everything works out fine not sure whether that's because i'm hungry Oh, the food is good. I just came up from uh, Joey's restaurant. Yeah, it's pretty sumptuous. Not too sure whether <laughs> because I'm too hungry. Yeah, but the portion is not a big plate. Yeah, so I kind of finished it within five mouth food. Yeah, so now slowly heading back. Trying to catch some sleep later because tomorrow I intend to wake up at 5 a.m. in the morning so that I can go there to the Taj Mahal before 6 when they open up. I've just showered and freshened up, so now I'm getting ready to sleep. Tomorrow is a big day, yeah, <laughs> because Taj Mahal is my seventh, seventh wonder of the world on my list. So after completing that, I would have completed the entire Seven Wonder of the World. So that's why I'm a little bit excited. Not right now. I hope I can sleep up tonight. Yeah, because tomorrow I'm going to wake up at 5.30. Make sure that I will be one of the first to enter Taj Mahal. Right. Good night. The next morning. Oh, good morning everyone. Oh, time for me to go to... Taj Mahal. The time now is 5.30. I think there are already people starting to stream in. As I was trying to wake up. Yeah, I, I heard a lot of tuk-tuk or, or vehicles coming to and fro. So I presume people are streaming in to be one of the first one to go into the Taj Mahal for that day. The sky is starting to break now. It's no longer that dark as you were thought to be. Probably in another 30 minutes or 20 minutes, you're going to see sunrise. Hello. Yep, I know. Yeah, thanks. How do you know? I came yesterday. Oh, you came yesterday. Have you been yesterday? Yeah, I just went to the. I just went to the entrance. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, the weather is very chilly. <laughs> it's cold. Yeah. So good thing I came to Raki. So everything is tip-top, clockwise precision. 
Yeah, it's exactly the same route that I took last night. In fact, it was much darker yesterday. Yesterday is quite dark. <laughs> yeah. Now I think the street lights are operating. Yesterday it wasn't. So there's a hotel here. So when you're over here, try not to bring anything. I mean, they will officially, they will stop you from bringing tripod and food is confiscated. Oh. Oh, what's the commotion? Yeah. So I think for me, uh, to solve all complication, I kind of empty the whole bag. Okay, except, yeah, except for a bag with money. Yeah, and that's it. Yeah, don't give them any excuse. I took out all the batteries, cables and all those. Although officially you can still bring in. Yeah, but I just want to kind of uh, better be safe. So this is the west gate. Oh. I thought I see people queuing up, so I'm not the first few. <laughs> or is it not? I would know. So right in front is the gate. That's the security over there. Look, Look at these buildings. Very Mongol style. Yep. Heard a lot of noise right now. Yeah, so this is the ticketing area. Obviously, they have already made it up so nicely. Look at the both sides. Right, this is the ticket area. Okay, I will choose cash payment. This one? Yeah. Thank you. So that's the foreigner queue. Local 50. Foreigner, if I'm not wrong, is 1003. So, next. All right. What about this to go? Show the ticket, paper. Shoe cover. Okay, so that's the shoe cover? Yeah, when you go to the white building, you yeah. um, Need water? Huh? Need water? Is water included? Yeah, yeah can I have your water? Then I don't need it. Right, then thank you. Wait, wait, wait. We are the working as the official guide here, the department side. Yep. Take a beautiful, beautiful view of sunrise, everything show you. Okay. Take nah, a I'm okay, I'm okay. With the guy, you go alone, you want to see the Taj Mahal, that's nah. the white building, you want to see the beauty. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, it's okay. I'll take it. Sure. Thank you. Right, so this is the entrance. Oh, oh, this is not. Okay, actually it's this way. Yeah, no, 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 don't worry. So we are queuing up. <laughs> this is, that's the local queue. Yeah. Oh. Oh. All right, that's the queue. Wow. This guy said at the security literally open up every compartment of my of my bag. Everything got laid out in a way, yeah. So 
the advice is to keep it, keep your bag simple. Okay, if possible, don't bring it in. Ah, so that's the entrance. Yep, the Mongo design gate. Wow, look at the very manicure lawn. The entrance is still behind me. So before you enter the Taj Mahal, that is a red color sandstone building right in front of you. However, I guess this is not the main thing people would want to look at. Yes, it's the one inside. Right. Let me zoom in. Yes. Oh, do you look at that? There's this piece of optical illusion. As you go in, the Taj Mahal seems bigger, but as you go closer, it becomes smaller. Do you see that? Oh. Yeah, this is Taj Mahal. What amazed me is how symmetrical this place is. Yeah. You look at the garden. The left side of the garden is almost identical to the right side. And you see the four minarets. Yeah. So two on, on each side. And even the detail goes right back to this. Yeah. At the side, there's some buildings here. And it's also, it can be seen over there. Everything is so symmetrical. From after crossing the gate, yeah, this entire piece is, <laughs> yeah, living like a, in a very symmetrical world. Oh. Wow. I'm probably like the 100 people. <laughs> There's already so many people in there. Well, I'm not surprised because as I was sleeping, I heard cars starting to stream in. So I know people are already making a head start. Yeah. Let me go up to this platform. I'm thinking, where's the diner's chair? I think this is the diner's chair. <laughs> oh, these guys dress up so gentlemanly. Yeah, that's the diner bench. I had to sit on the diner's bench. Yeah. Yeah. That's an empty bench. Pretty strange. I would thought it would be full of people. <laughs> Alright, let's move on. It'd be perfect that the water is filled up. But no, not in this case. Right, let's get down. 
Oh, oh. This is the last one. Oh, what is that? That's the camera. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Alright. See ya. Yeah. Sorry, can I just give me a last one? Sorry, just alright. You're only here once, probably. Okay, thank you. That's alright. Right. Everybody trying to be taking the standard pictures wow it's incredible do you notice another optical illusion the tower seems to be leaning sideways outside outwards yeah. actually that's not really an optical illusion but it's purposely intended to construct it this way in case there is a earthquake yeah so the tower will not fall into the mausoleum i think that's how ingenious these guys are right let's crack on So this is the general ticket holder and this is for the high value ticket holder. Wow. Oh yeah. Just look at the minarets. Ooh. I was a little bit afraid that the f the fog will spoil everything, but no. I think it's, it's still very clear. Yeah. Because I my boss passed by Agra a few days ago. Yeah, and it was like foggy throughout. Oh thank goodness. It didn't spoil the enjoyment of seeing that. Right, so this are the mosque. So you can get the mausoleum ticket here as well. But mine has been incorporated into the course. So this is the side view. Wow, which is just as nice. It looked almost like a squarish thing. I mean even if you look from the from the front and from the side, it's almost the same. <laughs> so now, should I go into the mausoleum, which is this queue, or should I go to the riverbank to see sun sunrise? Hmm. Well, I think mausoleum can wait a little bit. Maybe five minutes. Let me take a look at the sunrise first. I think as compared to the white marble building, everyone is more interested in Taj Mahal. Because this is so distinctive. Yeah. I think you can never see it anywhere in the world. The white color Mongol style building. I guess you're not supposed to do any posing. Yeah. 
I think those lady that's trying to do some pose, <laughs> funny pose. Okay, that's the moss. Beautiful, but that's not the reason why we are here. That's the river that runs through Agra. And look at the barbed wire surrounding the Taj Mahal. Yeah. Given that it is 1,300 rupees, so there, are, there could be people trying to smuggle them via the river. Where's sunrise? Oh! <laughs> Hell! I, it should be the other side. Alright, I guess it's high time for me to go into the mausoleum since I'm already there. It's just this corner. Yeah. Wow, look at the sari. So colorful. Are we supposed to cross this way? <laughs> or let me get back to the main path itself. That's the wazu tank. Please do not put your leg into the tank. Yeah. Obviously it's for one to cleanse themselves before going into the mosque. So that's the entrance to the mausoleum. Please wear shoe cover or take off shoe before going to the main mausoleum. Okay, alright. Ta-da! Shoe cover. Hello. This one? Ticket. Ticket. Yeah, this ticket. Oh, sorry. No video. Oh, okay. Okay, that's the way up. Alright, mobile phone should be kept at this juncture or later. Okay. I'm still not going in yet because there's something that I need to do. Oh gosh. That's a sun that's a sunrise. That's one thing I'm gonna do right now. That is two. <laughs> yes! <laughs> that's my seven wonder of the world. When Taj Mahal is built originally, so all this uh, started with uh, gems. Yeah, however, this was taken out through the years. Just look at how intricate carving is. This is made of uh, soft marble. So what I was told yesterday was that Yeni, okay, the piano player, used to host a piano uh, performance right across the river. Yeah. So, and the thing is that during the performance, they shine light on it. Okay, so the bright light was shine on this mo monument. And after the performance, they realized that there is some kind of damage by the strong light to this monument okay so that's the reason why from then on they do not allow lighting on 
Taj Mahal. Right. Oh, the sunrise. So the night Taj Mahal trip, I mean, it is conducted during full moon because to harness the natural lighting. In other nights, most nights are so-called because it's, it's empty, okay, it's totally darkness, so you can't see anything, yeah. So that's why night tour is only done in the full moon. Ah, yes. The sunrise again. In order to preserve the beauty of this place, so the government decreed that no buildings should be more than a certain level of height. So that's why you do not see any high-rise buildings. I thought that's a wise move. So, are you ready? Ready for the mausoleum? Yeah, let's go! Wow, I just saw the crowd gathering at the entrance. <sighs> Good thing is that I'm here early. Yeah, let me show you what is it like. The number of people trying to stream into Taj Mahal. Okay, this is where I need to keep my camera. Oh, interesting. I think this sands are uh, used in case there's fire to put up the fire, put off the fire. All right, camera off. I've just gotten up from the mausoleum itself. Well, inside is stunning. Yeah. So everything is symmetrical as usual. So the queen's tomb lies in the middle, right in the middle. Okay, right in the middle. Right, and then the kings, I think after he passed on 40 years later, decided to kind of uh, bury it with her. So the king has got a bigger tomb, slightly bigger tomb, slightly taller, that is next to her. Okay, so that is the only thing that is of symmetry of this entire place. <laughs> I think probably the king would never know that yeah, he would kind of uh, spoil this symmetry by bury it next to the wife. I'm sure most of you will know this Taj Mahal is built as a mausoleum for the Mongol king for his third wife. Yeah, so third or second. Yeah, <laughs> anyway. So yeah, so what uh, she has so-called passed on after delivering the 13 or 14 kids yeah during delivery so in memory of her the king decided to build this giant mausoleum just for her only and selfie stick is not allowed but that's not stopping me from improvising it right now i'm just seated here to enjoy the Taj Mahal for a few minutes Coming to Taj Mahal marks the seventh and the final of my New World Wonder. I've first been to the Roman Colosseum at 1994, 1994, and I made a subsequent visit recently at 2020. Then followed by Great War of China, that's in 2005. In the year 2014, when I'm having my sabbatical break, I visited a couple of more of uh, the world wonders, that is the Chichen Itza at Mexico, Machu Picchu at Peru, and the Brazil uh, Christ the Redeemer. Yeah, so during that 2014 year, I visited three of the world wonders, and I recently visited 
my sixth world wonder, which is uh, Petra, last year, 2022. And now, 2023, Taj Mahal. That's the Grand Slam of my world wonder. Very happy, yeah. So it marks a milestone of my backpack history, yeah. <laughs> I wanted to say career, yeah, but that's not my career, yeah. So, yeah, I've started backpacking since 1994, okay. So, only now, 2023, I completed the Seven World Wonder. So now I'm heading on to my 100th country. So India is my 82 country. So my target for this lifetime will be to travel 100 countries. Yeah. And then I probably will hang up my backpack boots and I will pursue something else. Why am I making this speech as if I have won an Oscar? <laughs> yeah. Well, I think to a certain extent, this is my little Oscar. Yeah. For my for all the years that I've been traveling. I'm trying to make one round of the mausoleum. Yes, almost completed my one full circle. One full circle of the mausoleum. As much as I hated it, I have to leave this place now. Total symmetry. Right, that's my final shot with a close up of uh, Taj Mahal. Bye. Time to throw away the shoe cover. Oh, that's another great angle. So this place is perfectly symmetrical. It's square. So at which corner you can see the grandeur. At whatever corner, at the four corners. It's almost the same. This is the side moss. Almost the same architecture. Very typical Mongol style. Made of sandstone. Yeah, which is very in color. This is the typical building blocks for many of the Indian buildings like you see in uh, the Red Fort but nothing still beat the Taj Mahal so I'm re really really leaving the place yeah heading towards the exits Oh, that's a very beautiful place to take the arch and the Taj Mahal. After visiting Taj Mahal, I kind of lose interest in the rest of the Mongol style building that is not matching the grandeur of uh, Taj Mahal. Oh, that can be a bad thing. <laughs> oh, 
wow, it's so rare having no people behind me. Oops, there's someone else. Okay. I know everyone is all going to the white building, but I think since you are here, why not just pay a visit at the surrounding courtyard? Ah. It's a small door leading to the Taj Mahal. So that's the courtyard, the corridor surrounding the courtyard. There are three entrances to the Taj Mahal. So one is over there, that's the west gate which I came in from. The other one is, this is the south gate. And over here, that's the east gate. My intention is to get off from the south gate. Yeah, try to see the vibes around the south gate. It's time to say goodbye to the Taj Mahal. Bye. So I'm now heading to the south gate. From where I see it leads to a marketplace. Here's the view of Agra town. Oh, these are the narrow alleys. I think it's the fly season. There's a lot of sand flies around. <coughs> Pretty crane. I kind of like this kind of small alley. And you see the gate over there? It's very Muslim architecture. That's quite a cool wall. City fort. I like walking along smaller alley rather than the main road because you tend not to bump into all those hustlers. <laughs> walking at the back alley is quieter. Hello. The 
Yeah, all these kids all over the uh, city. Let me look at what's that. exactly know what's that but I think probably they are just trying to send their gods somewhere. That's my guess. This is something that I always wanted to do is to have a meal next to the Taj Mahal. Yeah. So uh, I come to this restaurant and then I make sure that I survey okay the other than the menu I survey whether the view is nice. Yeah. I think this is good enough. And the good thing is that I'm all alone. So I had the view all to myself later on. I'm just waiting for my food to be served. But meantime, enjoy the view. Finally, my wish come true. Having a meal over Taj Mahal. Can you see that? I think probably it's a little bit far from you. Mm. So this is fried rice with Banana lassi. <laughs> I've just drank a little bit, but yeah, it tastes good. Frankly, it's just a uh, form over substance. <laughs> yeah, I mean, over there it's right in the sun, but well, just now I was, for the sake of taking pictures, I had to sit there. But when it comes to eating, it's better for me to sit here because it's under the shade and not in the sun. All right, bon appetit. So that's the place I, for my lunch. Now I'm going back, walking back. To my hostel to pick up my luggage. So just now the meal cost 240 rupees. Nice view. So there are a lot of restaurants offering rooftop view. So my advice is before you settle down, just go and have a look at the view first. Yeah, because different, different restaurants may have different view. Yeah, and they may have some buildings that is blocking it. Yeah, so. Make sure that you choose one view that, hello, that you like. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's my advice. 
ไทย Walking towards my hostel y a h a n g y a Lodge which is right in front Time to leave Agra oh, Bye bye See you Oh I have to sign Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Leaving Agra now. So now I'm going to catch a transport back to the bus station. Oh, sorry, it's train station. Okay. Thank you. All right. So. I got Ken. Oh, yes. Okay. Seeing all the hawkers here, I know that I'm quite close to the railway station. And of course, the tutus. There's so many people. So many tutus here. Railway person? Ah, oh, okay. Okay. Yep, I just got off from my tutuk. Now heading on to hello. Heading to the train station right in front of me. All right, let's do this. I love Agra too. <laughs> Agra station. All right, so this is the second class unreserved ticket window. I'm actually trying to book train ticket, yeah, for the next two days, tomorrow and the day after, if possible. The reservation office is hidden right at the corner, yeah, hidden by the hidden by the big trees over here. So, is this corner that I'm going to? Hopefully, to try my luck. To secure the next two tickets, if possible, I've just booked out my ticket. So for the next two leg, yeah. So the first one from Jansi to Jaipur, so that costs about 750 rupees, and the second one from Jaipur to Ajmer, yeah. So these are this is going to be travelled within the next three days. So the total cost of the next two train ticket is 1,300 rupees. So I think uh, it's, it's very easy. I think once you get into the groove of booking train tickets, it's not as daunting after all. You can even find monkey at the station. This should be the platform that I'm supposed to catch my train on. The time is 2 2 p.m. now. Right now, my train will leave this station at 3, so I still got one more hour to go. So I just got hold of one soft drinks to keep me company for the next one hour. So this is the platform one. There isn't too many chairs available to sit right now. Yeah, so there are people just sitting on the floor. Oh, everything is so fast-paced for me now. Yeah, just imagine five days ago I was just so blur. Just came from Calcutta, and now I'm traveling from the east to the west already. Yeah, so in fact I've kind of done the east to west, traversing the entire uh, India. So right now I'm kind of going back into central India again. There is definitely more things in Agra than Taj Mahal, but 
the only thing that I've done is Taj Mahal. I think there are other places such as the Agra Fort that is also worth going, which I'm not going this time around. That's because um, I'll, I'll be going to other forts in in this northern area. So it just makes sense for me to just kind of strategize uh, which fort that I'm going to go to. So my choice is that uh, I'm, not, I'm going to skip the Agra Fort. Yeah. So I think it's up to you, I think, to kind of uh, do your planning. My train is here. So this is the first time I'm not catching the train at the original, originating station. Yeah. So it's almost like halfway down India. This is coming from Amrissa, which is from Punjab. Right, B2. I think he took my. This guy took my seat. Never mind. I will take the upper deck. Situation like in the train, fully packed. As this train comes from Amrista, so there's quite a lot of Punjabi on the train. Yeah, finally, Gen C. Oh, such a nice carriage that I'm taking and I didn't know. Well, yeah, so the, I'm finally at Gen C. Beyond words. I think the fact is that I, this train is heavily delayed. It's supposed to be a three hour train, but it kind of uh, delayed for more than two hours. Oh my god. And it doesn't help that my my so-called air tile is not working very well when I was doing roaming. So I was most of the time nothing to do in there. Okay. Just lying there and uh, yeah, just lays around. And also I couldn't find all this uh I, I don't have the GPS and then nothing. Hey hello. Hi. Hi. Yeah. So yeah, this guy is sitting next to me and he helped me to tell me which direction I am at. So yeah, I'm very grateful to this person. Yeah, finally, Gen C. Hi, I'm from Singapore. Oh, what is your name? Yeah. Maybe I can help him, but don't attack me. Oh. 